right, so this is a connector cable, a charging cable. This right here charges your batteries. It comes with three of these O-ring keys and these little spacers are what the button fits in. So these clamp onto rails. And then in the main, this is very nice packaging it comes with to keep it safe. So this is a copy of a pack unit. These guys go for around 130. They have two versions. One is with a regular light, which I believe is a thousand watt. The other one is with a white light, which is an invisible light to the human eye. And it's got a bunch of different modes as you can see on here. So this is infrared mode, it's on right now. So you can't see the laser unless you have night vision, which is the reason I bought this. Because the night vision I have, the current goggles, which is a digital night vision set. Um, it's right over here actually. So these guys, they flip down and these guys are very zoomed in. So. If I had a laser, I figured I could see what I'm aiming at better, and it's very difficult to aim through sights. Like, I have this. This technically is made for night vision, but I think this is made for the real thing more than anything. No, it don't work well with that thing, I can tell you. So, I'm going to get around it doing this and using this guy. So... This has this little Allen key that screws in right here, which tightens it. We've got a button right here that turns it on. And then the switch can hook up to right back here. I imagine if you're using it for paintball, you'd probably want to cover that with some tape so it don't get messy in there. And the battery bay is right here. So it's a pretty big battery. I want to do it. It comes with a spacer. I don't have it in there right now, but that prevents the battery from draining. So this is what your battery looks like. It just goes in this thing. It's a little funky at first because it's I've never seen a charger like this before. So you just push it in there and it charges like that. It's got a attachment on the back of it. it hooks up to a USB cable. And then if you come over here, pull this guy up. So this is your button. You can mount to the side of your gun. If you click this in, that turns it on, turns it off. This is a quick activation. You push it in, activates, release, deactivates. It's got a little weird kind of pin system it's got to be placed in a certain way when you put it in there uh, what i noticed um some of these modes are for paintball specifically I, they work and then others don't really i think the laser itself is too bright um, it's too powerful it's for a knockoff it's very good quality and i highly recommend this if you're using night vision and for the price, you can't beat it. The real thing is going for, what, $2,000? That's crazy. I mean, why wouldn't you go with something better here? That's a little bit better priced. Uh, this is your light. These are your two lasers. So one's invisible, one's an actual laser. So we're going to go hook it up to the gun, and I'll show you how the whole thing works. Currently got my die dam set up for a nighttime mode. I want to show it during the day so you can kind of see what's going on with it here. Uh, I have this switch set up. So the way this works is I can activate it quickly with this or leave it on with this one. You even have a button up here, if you can see that. Go right here. And it's got a bunch of different modes for it. So as you can see, 
It's got the green. It's got the IR laser, which is an invisible laser. You only see with night vision. You got a bunch of different modes that don't really make so much sense. So you might have both lasers on at the same time. I'll show you what it looks like from the front here. So you can see the two different laser sets there. They're relatively on target. I don't think you'd be able to use this for a regular paintball game for the green laser part. It's a knockoff of a pack unit. I will put the description of what it is on the screen here. Uh, but let's give it a try here. So I don't know if you can see that currently, but that's your laser. Uh, let's see if I can aim it at the shed thing here. Right there. Okay, you know what, let's zoom in. See if you can see it. Right about there on the wood. Can you guys see it? Yeah, yeah, that's hard to see with the snow condition for sure. All right, well, that's not a very good example. You're going to see it better. During the night, I'm doing it during the day so you can kind of see what it looks like. So right now I have a invisible laser, so you can't see it on the current camera. But once I activate the night vision on my setup here, you can actually see the laser. But that's how it would look to the human eye. I'm just aiming it at the ground and it is currently on. So you can see you're, you're not giving yourself away if it's dark unless somebody else has another night vision set up. So this is the strobe mode. And we'll see. Not really good during the day, but you're definitely gonna see it. It's more noticeable when I aim it at the ground here. So this is IR end laser, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Let's see if we can zoom out. All right, there we go. You can kind of see it. You've got laser and light. Again, you're probably not going to be able to use the laser, but I'll take it a step further here. So that's a red laser on right next to it. Let's try and zoom in on it. So you can see the red laser is way less than that green laser, showing you how powerful that laser really is, which is why I'm suggesting not using it in a game. So this is IR and light, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So you're giving yourself away with the light and you could see a laser. I'm not sure where that would be useful, honestly. Maybe you know something I don't know. Leave a message in the comments, hopefully. And you got regular light mode. And the last one is just IR green, which again, uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. To have a laser giving you away and having an invisible laser. If I was gonna maybe make this, I would probably stay away from this uh, feature. But uh, what I would also uh, say is that there's another version where the light is invisible. So it's more of a white light or what my actual night vision set is called a uh, IR light. So it's invisible to the human eye. That set cost about 160 where this one was about 120 the one with the regular light. All right, so I just lowered it off the rail to get it a little bit lower. I noticed it's firing a little bit to the right here. I know I can adjust it, but this is where it's at. Pretty close. So we're gonna come back out here at night and we'll test it on the night vision. All right, we're currently outside. Same thing as before, same place. And I'm gonna go show you what this thing looks like at night. All right, so 
that thing is bright as can be you're gonna see that thing you could definitely see it now that it's nighttime way better that thing is a glowing target to where you're at i'll bring it close and look at how bright that thing is you're definitely not using that thing all right so if we got the strobe that's what it's going to look like if you're curious this thing is bright you don't want to have this thing flashed in your eyes for sure all right here's your laser light combo can't even see it on the camera i can see it perfectly well i guess you can kind of see it now but like close up it's weird you don't see it but far away I'm looking at the fence right now yeah no kind of a weird thing going dark all right currently i'm in the pitch dark and you're gonna see a light start to show up at that tree right there so that's an invisible light here nobody can see that but i can see it so let's give it a try i'm gonna turn the gun on here we'll give it a couple of shots here there we go so shooting in the dark to the pitch black let's go that's pretty good i can actually see it so it's pitch black out right now i'm shooting at that tree with my die dam so yeah this is definitely an advantage with the laser for sure because with this pacific night vision setup you can't see down scope so this is a way around it unless you flip the night vision up so i'm going to switch this thing to actual laser so you can see the difference between the two all right so this is the actual laser you can see it's much brighter than the other one and then if i turn the light on we'll see how much it blinds you 